I don't think we need to walk through it all, but obviously tightening credit um, led to household uh, incomes being squeezed. People unable, both individuals, large institutions, but especially small businesses, uh, unable to access credit. Still a problem, by the way. Still what I hear over and over again across the state. Let's go to the next one. This, this chart is a, I know it's probably hard to see back there, just some of this most people already know, but if, if you look at the, the, uh, uh, the numbers as they're, uh, the, the bar chart as it goes uh, uh, kind of to the floor, so to speak, the average job loss in the early part of 2009 was over 700,000 jobs a month. Month after month of losing at least 600,000 but as many as 700,000 jobs. And now we're at a point where, as of in November and December, where that started to, uh, we started to get closer to zero. We don't know exactly, some in the room know better than I, you may have already gone through this today, but know where we, we, where we will be uh, today. But we're much closer now to zero, and maybe, just maybe, even into positive uh, job growth uh, territory. But that's a significant change in just one year. And I would assert uh, that the recovery bill has a lot to do with that, that uh, 700,000 per month job loss going to uh, co much closer to zero. Let's go to the next one. This is a, uh, uh, just a, a summary of the, uh, the, the bill as, uh, as it pertains to Pennsylvania. 5.7 uh, billion for, for Pennsylvania to date. That means a combination of two things, either spent or in the pipeline, so to speak. So what that shows is that um, that's a lot of money, $5.7 billion. But as a lot of you know, there's still a lot of money uh, still in the pipeline for Pennsylvania and still uh, billions of dollars that are not even, uh, not even here yet, not even in the pipeline. We're going to get as much as over, over the basically over three years, I guess it is, 16 billion. Are we right about that? 16 billion for Pennsylvania, but we're talking about three years, not just two. That's correct. That's correct, okay. So, so we're talking about our state getting 16 billion. So a lot of ac economic activity, a lot of spending, a lot of stimulus uh, because of the Recovery and Reinvestment Act still yet to go. And when you live in Pennsylvania because of the weather, you're talking about bad weather in December, January, February, and even March, uh, some of the, the road project money, the infrastructure money, will be spent uh, and, and we'll see benefits from it in the spring, summer, and fall of 2010. So there's a lot yet to happen uh, in 2010 with, with, as it relates to the recovery bill, especially in a state like Pennsylvania. Uh, now on both sides of that, and I can't actually see it too well from here, but uh, just a summary of, of component parts of uh, the uh, uh, we'll see it better. The, uh, yeah, let, me take, let me do that. Just a, uh, for those who can't see it, on the left side, the left box is investments. Uh, it says investments in Pennsylvania's future. I'll just go through it quickly. Uh, and this again is recovery money for Pennsylvania. A billion dollars for highways and bridges. Uh, $213 million for clean water and drinking water projects. Uh, benefiting over 100,000 households. The 99 million for energy efficient, uh, efficiency projects, over 1.7 uh, million for uh, education, uh, 80.6 million for uh, additional local law enforcement personnel and equipment. The second box on the right, direct benefits to uh, Pennsylvania residents. Four and a half million residents have enjoyed federal tax relief, think about that. Now, I know it went by quickly, and I know it wasn't uh, nearly enough to say that's the, the main cog in the wheel of, of, uh, of recovery, but four and a half million people in the state got tax relief <coughs> because of the recovery bill. We should tell people that. And even if they don't remember, we should remind folks about it. Uh, a half a million jobless adults receiving unemployment compensation. We've got to continue to work to, to extend that. We've got some extensions. We need to do more work on that. 1.6 billion to provide health care to Pennsylvanians in need. Uh, uh, eight, more than 1,800 homes have, have reduced heating costs from weatherization projects. And finally at the bottom, 
a, mi a million and a half children and adults through the uh, food stamp program, supplemental nutrition assistance program. Let's go to the next one. 